bow in the presence of a King presence of a all right we're just gonna open this up real quick you guys all right so what I wanted to show you Here's what the OEM pad looks like. There's the thickness. Here's the new pad. Here's what the OEM pads look like at 40,000 miles. I'm wondering if the pads were replaced before I bought it. You guys see the difference? Maybe it's better to stack them. I feel like the pads were changed before I bought the car. What do you guys think? Right? It's made in Germany. I don't know the brand. Unless you guys can tell by looking at the back of this. I mean, the good news is it's got the same shape and everything. A little bit different, but it's still... All the mounting locations are still the same. So it still has this part. And I did see some videos where the pads itself are a little bit different than the OEM pads and it could be just because this is a performance pad versus a stock OEM pad that this pad is actually still pretty good. My car is at 40k. I'm assuming maybe the previous owner might have had these replaced and so now I can't say these have 40,000 miles on it. Maybe it does. Maybe they do last that long because According to the forum, you're supposed to be changing out your pads every 40,000 miles, but does that look like 40,000 miles to you guys? I mean, you can see the wear bar indicator right there. Look how thick that is. So I might just hold on to these. I won't even toss these, I'll just save them. Just wanted to share that with you guys, the difference in case anybody's interested in the Hawk Performance pads and the holes still match. Other than the only difference is this little lip on the OEM pad and these two nubs, they're not on the Hawk Performance. But the sensor is still in the same spot, but everything else is pretty much the same shape. I wonder if this OEM pad, if it's a semi-metallic. All right, let's get back to work. Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Finish friends on my face. Looking like a front of D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. Making noise, use a beat. Okay, this the 
news, tell them read it Been the one since the fetus Don't sleep on me, Temple Pedic That's a no, no, no Spend the dope for no reason Got a ball head, Mr. Cleaner Heard the big bags overseas then We gon' go, go, go For they hit, smoking like a clip. They, they can never catch me slipping every time your girl around. She be watch the way I'm dripping. Throw a trial luck, test me in again. We let it ring. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white, that yin and yang. Mr. Officer, please don't search us. We don't got a thing. Tell her, park it up. Then that be poking out them jeans. I've been sparking up. Like the fireworks, I keep the flame. Heard you barking up. This the wrong tree, I got the strength. Yeah, I'm charging up. They can't keep up, got them looking drained. Now they walking up. Trying to put the face to the name. I'm in flex mode with the best though, though, though. That's a major key, that's a chess mode, mode, mode. I'm your favorite G, I think it's best, yo, yo, yo. Stop with all the grilling, I'm on jet fuel. Take a note, clear the runway, now they cannot clip my wings. Yeah, they suck, they ain't homie, they ain't even on the scene. Play it smart, they don't know me, they just know what they see. What it cost to get flee, but this style ain't free. It's that swag, just that splash, one wrong move, that's. Do the dash, keep a stash, just in case they tryna flash Never lie, we don't slack, tell her I was running back I don't brag, I'm relaxed, I'm not in all of that, yeah It's really just the fam and my dogs, I just gotta make a call I ain't in all that chat, not at all, not at all Yeah, I put that on the squad, we been not you going hard We on deck, please don't make them Go and try your luck, test me in again, we let it rain Please don't start us up, got that black and white, that yin and yang Mr. Officer, please don't search us, we don't got a thing Tell her, park it up, then that Poking out them jeans, I've been sparking up Like the fireworks, I keep the flame Heard you barking up, it's the wrong tree I got the strings, yeah, I'm charging up They can't keep up, got them looking drained Now they walking up, trying to put the face to the name Slap shot flu. I'm a baby told her me like I'm Epcot. Whoa, whoa, I've been doing road on the go, go. Get a bag and flip it. That's for show. Yeah, for show, show. That was never talking about me. Turn it down and go get you some money. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter. I can keep. 
keep on thumbing it, turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep on thumbing it. Eyes on the money, my brothers got my back. Streets moving funny, so I been holding strap. Not playing defense, we been on the attack. Plotting the scheme and how we gon' get it back. Designer all on you, but you can't buy the swag. No mirrors. Alright, so. I wanted to show you guys the OEM pads. They still have some good meat on them. As you guys can see, compare it to the new pads, right? I'm guessing the previous owner, but the, you know, when I bought the car, the car only had 6,000 miles, you guys. Do you think the pads were changed or do you think this is the OEM? I forgot to mention that earlier. When I first bought the car, it only had 6,000 miles on it. That's the OEM pad and this is the Hawk Performance and look at the difference. Not much as far as the uh, thickness. I mean, man, it's putting so much brake dust. I mean, look how brown it is. Installing the uh, sensors on these are pretty easy. I kind of kept them together. That way, has something to compare to. It's really easy just to do that. There is a certain way you gotta put this in. You can't just pop it in place and call it a day. There is a thinner side and there's a thicker side. The thicker side, which is that, has to be on the pad side. And when you pop it in place, just push it down. And on the inside, make sure it goes all the way down. You think that's all the way down, it's not. See that gap? So you wanna make sure, because I can actually see right through it. I'm gonna now that click that is all the way down so make sure you guys get that all the way in place then when you take the other pad basically turn it upside down this is the second sensor same thing orientation just slide it in till it clicks you guys see that there you go it's all the way down and basically you guys when I put the lubricant on so it doesn't squeak I can see on the OEM pads where the pistons are pushing kind of looks like it goes there here here and here the rear brakes are the easiest brakes to change see how easy that was so let's go ahead and get these in place take this out for a test drive kind of break it in somewhat put some miles on it so I'm really interested to see how much lower the uh, brake dust will be on black wheels for any wheels if that matters for anybody as far as the install you guys it was pretty straightforward nothing too complicated I mean when you think of Porsche a lot of people are afraid to touch their cars but it's just like any other car guys you guys can change the brakes on these just like my BMW brakes were super easy to do but let's go ahead and get this on the road you guys and see how it feels all right let's see how it feels also want to see how it feels 
Shouldn't it be any different with these 245s? Feels good, guys. Now you don't want to slam on the brakes. You just kind of want to do a couple stop and go. And because I, I did wash the car, I do have that surface rust. So hopefully on these first couple stops, it'll remove those. We're just kind of breaking them in, you guys. Just kind of writing it. Just you want to get that pad contact to bed into the rotors a little bit. All right, so far, not too bad on the brakes. And I did hit a couple nice turns and handling feels great. Brake pedal feels good. Got a lot of bite to it now. Now that the tires are warmed up a bit now. Very smooth on the turns. I'm still trying to get a feel for the sidewall play. Maybe I'll do it here. On those turns what do you guys think man I'm really loving this flush fitment it's not stretched very square as you guys can see looks amazing also the brakes feel really good not getting any more noise I think that was just all the surface rust after I washed the vehicle I guess it still drives the same as far as the uh, brakes are concerned. Maybe just a little bit more bite. I guess the only way I'll know is if I take it on the track. For driving pretty much all day today, I don't see any brake dust. As you can see there, normally you can just wipe your hand on it and it's just covered. I mean, it's just so brown. We're getting ready for SEMA 2023. We are leaving next Thursday and heading down to California. We're gonna stay out there for a week and then head over to Las Vegas, drop the car off on the 30th. I'm gonna post what they have set up for the booth, you guys. It looks super amazing. Hey. So thank you, Blackview, for having my car in your display. Super excited, I can't wait to represent you guys. I hope you guys aren't disappointed. All right, fam. So if you guys like the content, please consider subscribing. Hit those post notifications. That way, when I drop my video, you guys will be notified. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, please post them below. Until the next video, you guys. Peace.